We're back in Saddle River, New Jersey at Wide Cliffs to fix up one aquarium and install another. All right, yo, so we got our friends here from Aquaholics. We got to pull out the old aquarium, get it on the truck without making a mess. We can't ruin any landscape. Then we can get the new beautiful aquarium in. And don't forget, we got equipment in the basement we got to set up, and we got to jazz up the other aquarium. Now, everybody outside, we're moving the tank right now. We're going to put the tank down. When you go around, do not hit the lions. The lions are the main thing at the front door. I don't want to hit it with the forks. Come on, push. Straight on now, straight. All right, leave it towards the front of the forks, yeah, right there. The I just don't want to ruin the driveway with black tire marks. All right, on the count of three, we're going to push towards me. One, two, three. Push. All right, let's roll it in a little bit and get away from the forks. All right, guys, listen. So we got to be careful of the granite so we do not crack anything. So when we're near the edges, that's the most critical point. So we don't want the wheels to snap the corner. So let's roll this onto the cart right now, nice and smooth. Go all the way as far as we can go. All right, Kyle, stop, stop. that's good. Jack this up a little bit. Get it up a little bit more, a little bit more. One, two, three, go. All right, oh. stop. Back. Good job, guys. All right, how are the parameters? Perfect. Temperature's perfect. We just got done acclimating them. There's no nitrite, no ammonia. We're shot. It's uh, all the alkalinity is good. Ready to go in. It's tight. Yeah, they're ready to roll. All right, let's get them in. All right, Creole wrasse. This guy is awesome right here. A little Caribbean fish. Yep. And these guys change color throughout their entire life. Isn't that amazing? Amazing. Look, he's changing color already. Right to you, Brett. All right, what's next? More Caribbean fish. Got a queen angel. Nice. These guys grow to be about 18 inches. I like to swim in pairs. I always love the blue in these girls. Nice, right at home. All right, here we go. Last but not least, the creme de la creme. This is the canary eel, also known as the banana eel. And? And the... Golden eel. Golden eel. These guys from the coast of Brazil, and this is a treat for every aquarium hobbyist. Look at that guy, the boss of the tank. All right. Make sure you got the lids on. We don't want the eel jumping out because you know eels are jumpers. Other than that, let's put the ladder down, get the massage on. All right, let's do it. Beautiful. Press it up. Careful, watch the lights. How's it look, B? Looking good. Nice. All right, man, let's clean this thing up and let's show this bad boy off. Hi, White Club family, come on down. Yo, you tripping, bro. Look at the fish. Look at the colors. I rarely get speechless because I write songs, you know? I'm so emotional. That's, man, it's art. This is amazing. <laughs> Look, I'm about to cry. You know? It's more than the females, OK? <laughs>。Yes, it is. Inside, you have Caribbean colors and you have Caribbean coral. We got our Caribbean. Yes, you do. Yeah, the Caribbean. My homeboys have delivered, you know what I mean? 100%. Yes. You want it big. Is it big enough? Yes. So by us making this bigger, you guys can now view it from both sides. This yes. is like nuts. Let me see. Look, you can see through the bar. There he is. I gotta learn those moves. Yeah. As you can see on the exterior, we have a metal facade which matches the metal around your house. Uh, yo, you know how gangster that is? It matched perfectly. It flowed nicely with the house. I love it. And you also have custom LED lights that can change color and do whatever you guys want. What? Yo, this is mind-boggling. That's all I gotta say. There's so much fish. There's actually over 50 fish in here, and most of them are from the Caribbean. We have a spine box puffer. I know you like puffers, right? right? Those guys are like, they're gonna have the personality of dogs, and they have the beak that he could use to crush crabs and shrimp. Also, too, is they're nocturnal, so these guys actually like to come out at nighttime. 
In here also, you have a blue-headed wrasse. Those guys will bury themselves. Uh, most of them start out as all females, mm -hmm. and then eventually, over time, uh, some of them change into males. All right, we have another fish in there called a harlequin basslet, and these guys are hard to find. They don't really find them in the aquarium trade. You guys actually have five of them. They're carnivores, they're gonna eat meat. They make a good aquarium fish. They're also from the Caribbean as well. What you have is actually something pretty rare in the industry. You have a canary eel in here. Oh, Heather and Agnes pulled Agnes through. Pulled it out. I think the girls have some explaining to do. Uh, you know what? We didn't have to get the eel. The client's happy. I think it's a win-win. All right, look, there he is. That. Wow. wow. Beautiful, huh? That guy comes from Brazil. He's part of the Moray family. A lot of people recognize this eel when they see it. It's either called a canary, a golden eel, or a banana eel. Now, usually this type of eel only grows up to about two feet. He'll do great in here. You got to make sure you lock it up, and you got to make sure you feed him. He eats every two, three days. We got your video. I was super excited because obviously I've been a huge fan for many years. So to come here and be able to help you and your family is something that, you know, Wade and I are going to remember forever. Yo, I'm telling y'all, I got y'all. Any concert, <laughs> just I like to cook for y'all, we got y'all, man. Oh, that's awesome. You guys had an, another aquarium that you wanted to keep that needed to be a little bit spruce stuff. Spruce stuff, yeah, yeah. stuff, right? We actually did something pretty amazing. And if you step around the corner, wow. we're going to see what we did to the new aquarium. You guys ready? Let's go. I cried yeah. once, yeah. man. Yeah, this is yeah. nice. Oh the treble God. clef. <laughs> the bass. Oh, man, come on. Once we saw this tank, we knew we needed some help. So first of all, we had to actually take all the substrate out and replace it. The rocks that you see in there are actually handmade rocks. Then we had to put the you know decoration of the corals in that you see there, the plants. And then we did the music notes because we wanted to add the music in and give a little That's touch to it. So everything was cleaned and wiped down. It and looked nice and clean. Looks yes. brand new now, huh? Look brand new. Angelina, you actually picked out some of the fish oh, that are in there. Good job. You have your placosimus in there. You have the venustus in there, electric blue, and you also have your wow. same fish that you wanted to keep, the red parrot. Yes. Yo, y'all gave us two tanks for one. Man, this is incredible. Thank you. Thank you. We help the Jeans with two tanks that fit seamlessly into their home. The one we built from scratch is just as big as Wyclef's stature in the music industry. It's seven feet tall, seven feet wide, and holds 600 gallons of salt water to house all kinds of Caribbean coral and 50 fish. Both of these tanks are so cool that I wouldn't be surprised to hear a song about them on Wyclef's next album.